This is either gonna be really stupid and a lot of you are gonna make fun of me in the comments or this is gonna be a really good idea and a lot of you are gonna make fun of me in the comments. So I have to rely on battery power quite a bit here. Uh, the power goes out quite a bit. We just had a hurricane yesterday. Oddly enough, I didn't lose power, which I'm amazed, but I had everything set up for battery power and, and solar. But sometimes when I do that, I need more wire, specifically to get from the solar panels to the charge controller. And I thought, well, hey, could I just use an extension cord and rig up some kind of DC to AC cord kind of thing? So uh, we're gonna try that today. And at the very least, we've got power poles, so we got that going for us. So I went down to my favorite hardware store, Ace is the place with the helpful hardware folk, and I bought these guys. So my idea is, and I understand voltage drop and all that, so you guys don't need to chime at me at that. I, I understand, okay? But I'm a ham, I want to experiment. So can I take these and make these from like a 120 volt adapter? Okay, we're never gonna hook 120 volts up to this. This is all for DC, 12 volt. But can I make these into a little power pole adapter and if I need a longer run of cable, voltage drop being recognized, I understand. Can I make this work? So I bought a, uh, a male and a female plug here, and I'm gonna wire up some red and black wire to these and see what kind of results we get when we hook this up to a charge controller. This is just a little 20 foot length or 15 foot length of like cheap 16 gauge Harbor Freight stuff. And then I'll try um, some longer extension cables as well. I just wanna see if it'll work. Can I have my solar panels outside and run an extension cable into my house to where my uh, battery bank is? So let's find out. So I've got some 14 gauge wire here. This is oxygen free copper stranded wire. And let's see if we can make this work. I'm just gonna cut some red, cut some black. And the way these guys work, they just open up and you've got some screws here and one for the ground, but I'm only concerned about these guys, the right and the left. So this is gold, this is silver. So let's just make gold positive for the heck of it. It's got a little loop there. We can fish that guy in there. Tighten it down. All right. So far, so mediocre. Make another little loop on the negative side there. All right. Feed those guys through the middle. Maybe, how does that work? Something like that. And put our screw back in. All right, just like that. Make sure we didn't screw anything up here. So that's good. Not shorted to red, that's good. And not shorted to black, all right. And now we can do the same thing with the other guy. Looking pretty sexy. So if we plug these guys in, I should have continuity to the red, and I should have continuity to the black, and I do. Now I'll just make these guys the same length. So our power poles are even. Good enough. And then we can strip these. And put our power poles on.
Beautiful, look at that. Now, let's connect these guys. And we'll check continuity one more time. That's a good sound. Hey, 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 working so far. All right, so here's how the experiment's gonna go. Got a couple panels out there. That's the power film 100 watt. That's the power film 60 watt. Got those coming up on the porch. Satan's out here as our helper. We're gonna try the, I think that's 15 feet, and then I've got a 100 foot run of, I believe when I bought that it was 14 gauge wire, so hopefully it still is 14 gauge wire. Charge controller and a battery that I discharged. I took 19 amp hours out of that battery, so we should be able to see some, some good numbers there. Uh, I wanna test the open circuit voltage uh, just from the panels, and then we'll test the voltage with the uh, extension cables and stuff, check for voltage drop, and ultimately we'll see how much current we can get coming from the panels into the battery. Okay, so the 100 watt panel, open circuit voltage, about 20 volts. All right, let's check the 60. 19.9, close enough. So 20 volts coming from the panels. Now I'm gonna use this PowerWorks distribution block to sum both panels into one. And then we'll use this little extension cord. I believe this is 12 gauge wire. Okay. Check our open circuit voltage here. And we're at 20 volts. Now we can connect our charge controller. This is the photovoltaic in, and then we can put that into our battery. So we are charging now, and we can see we're putting about 9.11, 9.35 amps into the battery, just going from the panels into the charge controller and into the battery. But now what happens when we add this? So we're connected to the, we're just gonna call this a 15 foot electrical extension cable. So I'm gonna plug the solar panels into one side. Let's check our open circuit voltage here. Still at 20 volts. So now we'll plug the panel into the charge controller and into the battery. About 6.6 .6 amps coming in. So quite a bit of drop. And let's just swap these out again. So we'll go straight in from the solar panels, see what happens. Ramping back up to nine, nine and a half amps there, 126 watts. Do it again. It's a little cloudy, so who knows? But I think we're seeing some serious drop in current just by adding 15 feet of 16 gauge wire here. Yeah, we're getting about 6.6 .6 amps. Not seeing that five, that nine amps. So let's try a longer cable. So now we've got an exponentially longer cable, but it is a little bit thicker gauge. So let's see what this does. Starting to ramp up there. 4.85 amps. So we're getting almost half the power we were getting just going directly from the solar panels so about half of our power is being lost due to heat, I would presume, in this cable. So now just for giggles, I hooked up another 100 watt panel. Everything's just going from the panel through the uh, charge controller. And the max I was seeing, a little over 13 amps there, 13 and a quarter-ish, okay? If I can get 10 amps, inside, I'll kind of be happy. So, like I said at the beginning, this is stupid, but I like to experiment. So now we've got the 100 feet of wire going in. Let's see what this does. So the most I'm seeing with 300 watts of solar in and the 100 foot run, about seven and a half amps. And now it just went down again. It's cloudy today, so a little up and down. But seven and a half amps is about the most I saw out of this. 
So what does this tell us? Well, it tells us that this is probably a dumb idea, but I might could make this work. If I can get a shorter run of wire, because I don't need 100 feet, probably 50 feet, uh, if I can find like maybe a 10 gauge wire, this might be a little more viable solution, but it also tells me that I might should just bring the batteries closer to the solar panels and just do it that way and stop being a little baby. But it's not what I want, and I'm a very stubborn German. But the moral of the story is with 12 volt power, use the biggest gauge you can and the shortest runs that you can to maximize your efficiency because we just saw how inefficient it was as we kept lengthening the cable. I was hoping for a little bit better results. I kind of knew they weren't going to be, but we never know unless we try these things. So I like experimenting. Hope you guys too, and I hope you found this interesting. My name's Mike K at MRD. Thanks for watching Ham Radio Tube 73.